Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. You know, I talk about what's wrong with the world so much. People are asking me what kind of world I want to live in. I never really answered before, not because I don't have an answer, but just because it's so simple it sounds silly to say it. I just want to be able to sit on my porch and drink homemade whiskey while I use my phone to order a pizza that's going to be delivered by a drone that I'm paying for with cryptocurrency that was mined using renewable energy. And I'm ordering this pizza because the newly married interracial gay couple next door is coming over to introduce me to their recently adopted refugee child. Now, he's a refugee from a natural disaster because we don't have war refugees anymore. They're bringing dessert. They bought it at a bake sale benefiting the K through PhD community run school that is free for all and stays fully funded because people understand that education is a community asset. After lunch, a nurse friend of mine is going to come over. She works up at the free hospital that is voluntarily funded by local businesses who understand that a healthy community is an economically viable community. She's picking up some grapes. She's going to turn them into jelly. She's going to give me five jars, keep five jars, and give ten jars to the local food bank. Every yard grows food, and what isn't needed is shared. There's no big daddy government forcing all of this to happen. It's just people helping people. On the wall in almost every home is an automatic rifle, but it's only taken down to be trained with or dusted, kind of like a fire extinguisher. Because there's no poverty, there's not really any crime, therefore there's no cops. That's handled by citizens. Matters of justice are handled by an impartial jury. Um... When it comes to nonviolent crimes, it's all restitution based penalties. When it comes to violent crimes, it could be rehabilitative or disassociation from the community or, in extreme cases, execution. There's no such thing as a victimless crime. That just doesn't exist in, in, in my world. Individual achievement still motivates everybody, but it's not the pursuit of material possessions that keeps people moving, it's the desire to see their community prosper. In a world like this, there's no need to escape. So drug abuse, of course, plummets. Coordination between communities, well, that exists, and mainly done through teleconference when the experts in whatever the field is that's being discussed sit down and work out a consensus on what's best for everybody. Intercommunity trade occurs much like it does today, but without the profit motivator, inventions come to market a whole lot faster because there's no intellectual property laws. Workers pray for the automation of their industry because their needs are met with or without their job. And when their position becomes obsolete, well, they innovate and drive society even further into the future. As we embrace that equality of opportunity, bigotry dies. People spend more time trying to master their own life or the world around them rather than each other. Kings and queens are things that only exist on chess boards. Empires only exist in video games. But free travel exists everywhere because we as a world and a society have begun to think much, much broader than a border. I know, sounds pretty utopian, right? But it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.